Hi, everyone, and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Ana Maria Montero, and I'm joined here today in the studio by Denis Tudor. He is from EPF Loop. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for the invitation. Really appreciate that. Newly arrived from the U.S. Well, yeah. basically, just a few days. I'm still jet lagging a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. In California, it's a long nine hours. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. And dare I say, congratulations for your success. Thank you. There Thank you so much. With your team during Elon Musk's Hyperloop competition, third year first for EPFL. Yes, it was an amazing ride. Uh, it's the first time when we participated and we're uh, one of the, of the two new teams accepted for the competition. Mm. That uh, made us a very, uh, very hard start. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, um, this time was held in July. Normally, it was held in August last year, for okay. example. And, uh, you know, those points just made us a bit uh, work more than expected. You had a little less time yeah, right, exactly. from last year. Exactly. <laughs> I hear you. Exactly. Okay, we're looking now at the pod. Now, you guys placed third, yes. right, out of yes. 20 or out of 20 teams. Yes, out of 20 teams, we placed third uh, in terms of speed. Mm -hmm. uh, Which was the objective. Was maximum yes, speed, right? Yes, the objective of the competition was the max speed mm -hmm. uh, achieved in uh, one kilometers uh, of the tube, okay. and then also to to break without uh, without uh, destroying the the pod inside. Ah, okay, <laughs> to be able to actually break without. Exactly, okay. exactly, exactly. So it still looks like this, I take it. Yes. Or still, did you bust it up a little no, bit? No, no, no. It, it still looks the same. <laughs> Does it have a name? Uh, yes, we have a name. Uh, it's a joke, the name of the pod, because. You know, the project is interesting, so we just decided to have a ridiculous name for an interesting project. <laughs> okay. Uh, the name was uh, Gina. 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 Okay. And uh, the scope was if we, we won, uh, the name would, uh, would be Regina. So it was Regina from the Latin, that yes, means the queen. queen. Exactly. Exactly. Well, she didn't quite make queen, did yes. she? <laughs> but Princess. queen for Switzerland. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's so far, this is the first, this is the highest that Switzerland has placed because there were two teams on site, right? Yes. You guys and Hyperloop from ETH yes. Zurich. Yes. Right. So, uh, yeah, uh, we, we started a new team this year, so we don't have a year together yet. We started in, uh, at the end of September. Mm -hmm. uh, here you guys in California, right? Yeah, so here uh, <laughs> it's uh, our hangar. So regarding Look at the, all those smiling faces. Exactly, exactly. So regarding the, uh, the competition, we, we rented the hangar in Los Angeles mm -hmm. uh, at the competition where Elon Musk actually tested his roaster here. Ah, in this hangar. Exactly. And what <laughs> I want to say, we're like the most organized team by far, having a lot of, uh, you know, like a Swiss team. Do, yes, doing the Swiss proud. Exactly. With your organization exactly. skills. Yes. Exactly. And we got this place nearby SpaceX, like 500 mm -hmm. meters by SpaceX, mm -hmm. where we also installed our rail because uh, we, have, we had to validate again all the pod in Los Angeles because we couldn't transport in a single piece the entire ah. pod. So you have to take it apart and then put it back together. Exactly, exactly. In LA. Due to the high power batteries that we had on board. Okay. Uh, and we transported uh, separately. So we we transported like that and we mounted again and we revalidated the software on the rail that we had on our hangar okay. and going totally prepared at the competition and uh, checking the points uh, that we had. Because yeah. you might know uh, we, uh, the rule of the competition, it's uh, there are available 130 points at this mm -hmm. competition, okay. and the first uh, three uh, at the number of uh, points uh -huh. get qualified in the tube. Okay. Yes. So not everybody gets to go in the tube. Exactly, not mm. everybody. Just okay. in the last competition, there were 30 teams qualified. Mm -hmm. Now just 20 qualified, mm -hmm. and uh, the first three are be able to to test uh, the pod in the in the tube. Okay. And we got. Uh, I'm really proud about that. We got the highest ranking at uh, during the testing week. Nice. Very nice. Now, if we look underneath the hood of Gina. Gina. <laughs> what what am I looking at? So here is the the design of the of the EPF Loop uh, Hyperloop uh, 2018 com uh, pod competition. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, three pressure vessels in the front. Okay. So there are box the, those boxes here mm -hmm. where we kept the pressure inside the the vacuum. Okay. So 
because there are some electronics and there are the batteries that cannot withstand in vacuum. Uh, and we have to protect from this uh, environment. Mm. Uh, we have, um, we have the, the propulsion uh, part that is a Brusa motor. It's from, uh, it's a Swiss company that make the, the motors for Jaguar and from BMW. Uh, and the, the wheel that actually it's, um, it's uh, kept on the rail with an actuator. So we just press super, uh, super uh, powerful the, the wheel on the rail mm -hmm. and to, uh, to be able to, to have more friction on the, on the rail. Okay. Yeah. So also, um, uh, we cannot see in this picture, but also we have the, the braking mechanism. Uh, that uh, so here we are. We have those two systems here, the braking mechanism that uh, okay. are be able to offer to offer a, a three G deceleration. Okay. Uh, and Without busting it in the front. <laughs> exactly. The 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 most important part of uh, of the brakes are uh, we we hit the the brakes at uh, six hundred uh, Celsius degree. Okay. And for that we need the material that is be able to to resist at this high temperature. Okay. Uh, okay. Of course, we also have the stability mechanism uh, um, that uh, can can let the pod stay in a zero position uh, without moving on the left or uh, on the right. Mm -hmm. Earlier, you mentioned batteries. Yes, I think yes. batteries was also a big part of your success. Yeah, so definitely we have we had the the best uh, batteries uh, at the competition. Uh, also, uh, Elon Musk just came and he was interested because he got the feedback from uh, from the engineers, okay. and we show him uh, that you guys had something new with the batteries. So yeah, something really worth looking at. Exactly. And here you are with the man himself. Yeah, yeah. He well, just I mean, how cool was that? Can I be a geek for a minute <laughs> and say I would like to meet Elon Musk? What was it like to meet him? So we had a discussion of thirty minutes uh, where we okay. explained the design of the pod and how we worked, and then. He just pointed to the batteries like suddenly, and he probably he got a, a feedback from the SpaceX engineers, and uh, he so explained uh, what uh, what we had inside and how we put all those cells mm -hmm. because we built uh, everything from scratch. Nothing was was uh, was bought, and uh, all uh, as you can see also this is a. Uh, Half of the he's a half of the battery pack, the batteries? Okay. and also we create those boxes and uh, we reduce some parameters that are parasitic inside mm -hmm. the the battery packs, and the wiring was so well done, mm -hmm. and uh, he was impressed. From some points of view, he said, "Yeah, it might be better than the Tesla Tesla packs." Whoa, that's something to take home and be proud of. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I also want to congratulate, uh, there is Antoine here, Elon Musk, uh, the energy lead. Mm -hmm. So I especially want to, to mm -hmm. congratulate him but to, mm -hmm. because he, he was the guy that built the, the packs. So super cool. That's great. Now, my question is, is also what does, obviously for you guys, this is amazing for your team and for EPFL, it's amazing uh, exposure. Yes. But what does, Elon get out of it. He must get something. What does SpaceX get out of it? He's helping people to get uh, improved uh, from a, from transportation point of view, but also for for them it's uh, a good marketing because they, as you know, they work on the future of transportation. They want to transport people on Mars. They want to mm -hmm. to make the the electrical cars, and also this is the fifth mode of transportation that I personally can define it as fast as a plane, as convenient as a train. So... The, hot, the pod transport. Yes, exactly, the high okay. transportation. So they want, to improve the, they want to improve the future of transportation with this project. Also with boring company uh, tunnels, they kind of make a hyper project, mm -hmm. but it's not similar. I had a conversation with Elon and I explained him because he, he also wanted to get the, our feedback and I explained him uh, the, the actual tube that they have, it's uh, saturating because we cannot go faster, faster, more faster than uh, now. Yeah. And I, I asked him how he, he can improve the competition and he just answered me, we can use his uh, boring company tunnels in the future. Okay. And uh, yeah. So he's very invested. He's really invested in this Hyperloop idea and yeah. in the future of, of transportation. But how do you, I mean, when you are, you're, you're just a little university. I mean, how do you how are you protected against a monster like SpaceX? I mean, yeah, how does that so, work? Can they walk away with your technology? Are you afraid of that happening? So we had signed an NDA before, uh, where uh, where it's 
uh, return, the IP is ours, but they can use the data that uh, we provide them during the testing week. Uh, but also it's, um, it's a win-win because we also we can use their data from, uh, from the tube. So we actually collaborate for the future of transportation and it's not a, a way of saying they have that or we have this. So we collaborate for uh, bringing uh, together people from different uh, corners of the, of the world. Okay, all right, if you feel good about it, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll share that with you. Um, so this year, EPFL was, as you said, placed third. The winners, the ones the fastest, were from the University of Munich, yes. right? They were, again, <laughs> the winners. Yes. They won last year. Yes. What are they doing differently? So now for this, uh, for this uh, third prototype that uh, they have built, uh, it was what is was impressive was the the um, ratio between the power and the mass of the pod, mm. because they have just uh, 80 kilograms, mm. less than 80 kilograms pod, uh, with very high uh, with a high power density, mm -hmm. and for that they will be able to go faster. But from scalability point of view, uh, their pod was just uh, one meter, one meters and a half, mm -hmm. uh, and our pod is 3.5 meters. So oh. they they won uh, from speed point of view, but not from scalability point of view. But oh. of course, they are the champions because uh, the the point was to have to go fastest. But yeah, that was the point. It was who, exactly. who would go faster? Exactly. Okay. So we saw it. Uh, uh, we saw this product. We saw it uh, as being an industrial product and not kind of a let's say toy, and uh, yeah, we wanted to go further, but it's, it's very hard when we, you build such a, such a big pod. As well, Swiss Loop, they, they did, they had an amazing design. Uh, Swiss and Loop. Swiss Loop, this yes. Is from exactly, and also they build an industrial product, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we kind of thought the same. We didn't build something very small and that it cannot be scalable. So this is so you guys are really looking at the long term. Exactly, uh, exactly. EPFL as well as ETH Zurich. I mean, two so two teams from one country. Isn't it possible that you guys could work together at one point? Or <laughs> so definitely for the future, we are going to discuss to see okay. how we can merge because in such a small country, having two different uh, entities that work for, for the same thing, it's a bit uh, weird. And of course, for the future, you have we have to share resources and funding, right? I yes. mean, at the end, it's coming out of the same pot, so you might as well just yeah, of collaborate. Course. Of no? course, as as Lucas said, uh, it's uh, like half of a million project, and yeah. uh, why not to do it together to make mm -hmm. a single Swiss uh, mm. team? Well, we'll have to see. Maybe that's in the plans for next year. Uh, among we have other to things. see. It's not a, you know, it's not. It cannot be just our decision. It's high level university decision, sure. so it's not just what we want to do. Sure. Earlier you mentioned the future of transportation. Do you really think that's where we're going? Do you really think people will be zooming underground from here to there in these pods? So this is my dream, to build a Hyper-V infrastructure, uh, to see it like really working uh, from commercial point of view, transporting cargo first and transporting people after. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I really think it, it can be doable. All right, well, we'll have to see. Last question. What are you already, I assume you're already planning for next year, not only whether or not you collaborate with ETH, but technically what you're gonna to bring to the table because you're gonna participate again. Probably will participate again, is not 100% uh, yeah. sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll improve the pod, probably we'll improve the, improve the, the, mm -hmm. the pod that we have. We already have a design mm -hmm. for the next uh, competition, if okay. it's going to be. And uh, yeah, uh, probably, will be this, the same target to have the, the fastest pod. So this is what we follow. All right, we'll see. Maybe Gina too? Gina too. Gina, Gina 2.0? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, thank you so, so much for being with us today. It was really a pleasure. And congratulations again thank you for, for all your success. Thank you. Thank you, Anna.